Hi, I'm Jess. I found National Jersey University, Taiwan. I'm going to show our work, Finger X, with the development of VR and Metaverse. Users experience VR not only in an empty room, but also in a space with furniture or objects in the real world. So we suppose that real objects could be blended into the virtual world, not only via virtual feedback, as in correct AR interactions, but also via healthy feedback. Interacting with virtual and real objects, or even virtual objects adjustment by real objects becomes a trend of VR interactions. Therefore, we propose finger X to render haptic shapes and enable users to touch, grasp, and interact with virtual and real objects simultaneously. To render haptic shapes, previous works move or restrict the hands or fingers movements using mechanical brakes and actuators. However, users have to take off wearable device or put down handheld device to perceive real objects. Furthermore, this device move or restrict fingers by pulling the fingers from the back, which is different from the reaction force applied from the front of the fingers when grasping or touching objects. Such a difference is distinguishable and affects users via experience, as mentioned in variety. Other device change the shape to virtual objects as proxies or Perhaps using a pin based design or airbags. However, the users cannot perceive real and visual objects simultaneously. Therefore, the device rendering haptic shapes of visual objects, a judgment by real objects, has still not been explored. To the best of our knowledge, touch and fall is the close work to ours, and also notice the essential of interactions across visual and real worlds. However, if a course on switch modes to interact with visual or real objects along rather than simultaneously, and it renders comprehension and vibrotactile feedback instead of haptic shapes. We propose finger X with distensible and withdrawable spores to achieve the goal. It consists of four extenders and rings on each finger, except for the pinky finger, which is usually an axillary finger. And the five stage scissor lift design is used in extenders, and a screw mechanism with a self locking property is used to actuate the extenders. The extension height is between 22.7 mm and 78.8 mm, so the extension range is 56.1 mm. Furthermore, the ring rotated the extender via a ring gear to restore it when touch real objects. Each ring is placed on the second finger segment close to the fingertip. When touch real objects, the rings withdraw the extenders behind the fingertips above the fingernails. When perceived visual shapes, the rings on the corresponding fingers rotate the extenders to the fingertips, and the extenders extend to the corresponding heights independently to render haptic shapes. Therefore, the users perceive shapes with the reaction force from the front of the fingers. Finger X enables users to interact with virtual and real objects simultaneously in three common scenarios, including touch virtual objects, adjustment by real environments, such as a desk, grasping virtual objects, adjustment by real objects, such as a bottle, and grasping virtual object in the hand. The user's fingers penetrate the virtual object and touch the real object or hand at first, then feel the virtual object growing during the extension period, and finally perceive the shape. We contained a recognition study from the three scenarios without shape visual feedback, and performed an additional study with shape visual feedback as in the real VR AR scenarios. Common geometric shapes or metaphors of common visual objects were examined. A real bottle was used in a second scenario. Based on the result, it seems that participants cannot recognize this clearly without visual feedback. They might never reject the height difference among their fingers to recognize these shapes. In the first scenario, 
The cue board with a flow pen was easily recognizable, but the curved surface of hemisphere was different to perceive. For the second scenario, the small cue board was not recognizable shape since it stuck out only on the ink disc finger. However, grasping a curved bottle via extenders is less stable, and the rings more easily contained with the bottle, which interfered with the recognition. For a third scenario, the chrome was the most recognizable shape due to its unique narrow tape perceived by the relatively sensitive thumb and index finger. However, size rings and extenders easily crowded with each other in the hand, and the extenders contact with the unever uh, palm. The shapes in the stereo were the most difficult to recognize. With the chef visual feedback, the average recognition rate is 76.59%, and the recognition rates are substantially improved and robust enough. Generally, the contents was consistent with loss in the previous one. We contented a VR study to oppose how users interact with visual and real objects simultaneously in the three scenarios and a real object in a visual bar. Three more sense, including vibration from a controller, vibration from five vibration motors on the fingertips and finger X were compared. A real bottle and box with a tracker were used in a second scenario, and the book was used as a real object. The results show that the feedback by finger X is more realistic and distinguishable than that by the controller and vibration on fingers. For both vibration methods, the participants perceived only notifications instead of shapes. But when touching the real book, they performed vibration motors on the fingernails, which completely did not handle them. In addition, some of them mentioned that including the pinking finger in finger X could enhance the real reason. In conclusion, we propose finger X to enable users to touch the internet with both real and virtual objects simultaneously. We evaluated the user's shape recognition ability in the three scenarios and contained a VR study to verify that finger X significantly enhanced VR experiences in the published interactions. Thank you for your attention.